Hey all, my name is Kurt. I'm here with Trenton. Welcome to SLB Basement Bourbon Bar. And Trenton, you brought down another Jack Daniels special release. Another. Uh, they've been coming out with quite a few of these, I think, haven't they? Well, <coughs> I'm still ill. Um, this is, you remember last year, we actually didn't, well, we did get the actual full bottle last year, but Jack mm -hmm. Daniels was kind enough to send us the little media samples mm -hmm. that they do. Yes. And that was the American twice barreled American single, single malt. malt. Right. And that was really, I, remember that. I thought it was very good. I thought it was yeah. pretty well received from what I saw. It was with, pretty decent. Uh, reviews and things like that. Yes. This is this year's, and it is a twice barreled heritage rye. Okay. Now, I don't know what heritage means, but I know it's a rye. It's 100 proof. This is their uh, sort of allocated, limited kind of thing for this year. Okay. It wasn't the single barrel, barrel proof rye that came out a couple months ago. Yeah. Okay. So that's kind of where I'm getting. They've been coming out with a lot of great things, though. I will say that. Well, uh, here lately in the last year or so, you know, everything that they've, they've they've came out with as far as limited or special release type has been pretty doggone good. I don't think there has been one that's come out that I haven't been a big fan of. Now, I will mm -hmm. say that um, this is this is a hundred this is a hundred proof, and we're actually going to be doing a review on the hundred proof bonded rye uh, that is like thirty some bucks. It should be a shelf stable bottle, so it'll be interesting to kind of try this and see how it differs. Sure. Yep. But again, allocated, limited, whatever you want to call it, this was like 80 bucks. So it's one of those offerings that is allocated, but it's not like it's not hitting three figures. It's not hitting 200 bucks like a Voyage or something like that. I'm happy for that too. I know. I, I really am happy for that. That's that's great. Sorry to interrupt you. If oh, you can't good. tell, I got a Band-Aid over here on my glasses <laughs> on the bridge of my nose. I forgot. I didn't even pay attention to that. He, he broke them at Maker's, Maker's Park when we were doing the barrel picks this last yeah, week. Yeah, we, we were doing a pick uh, barrel pick at Maker's Mark a couple week, a couple days ago, and I was, you know, I had them off, and I was giving them a little clean, yeah. and they just snapped right in half. <laughs> so um, I'm going to take these off because it's driving me nuts, so I might be looking at the wrong spot for this video. <laughs> if you're looking way over here for the camera, I'll just, yeah. I'll just put you right here like Steer this. me this way, this way. <laughs> But Jack Daniels has really kind of, I don't know if they've cemented is the right word, but like anytime I hear Jack Daniels is coming out with a rye, yeah. my ears get, my ears. All bad. Yeah, you and Kent, things. and yeah. Yeah, we got some uh, rye lovers in our family, that's for sure. And I like rye as well, but not, yeah. not, not to the degree that you do, that's Special for sure. Special place in my heart. Yeah. But yeah, Great. Let's, let's give this a. Let's do it. I just got this. Um, we're filming, this is, what is it, like seven o'clock? Yeah. Sunday. Yeah. And I just got this a couple hours ago. So, all right. This and has been open for a while, I will say, but that's nice. <laughs> oh, I want to live in it. Can you scuba dive? I, I would scuba dive in this. That smells so good. I know. I know you're excited. This is a. This is. <laughs> it does smell really good. I have to say that. This is bath worthy. Oh man, I rolled the glass too, and it just. Oh, broke. I didn't. I didn't. It's just that. like I just got done. And it's like wow. Now there was. I don't know if you know this. In 2019, so in 2020, they mm -hmm. did the single barrel, barrel proof rye, the special yes. edition. Mm -hmm. They did a 2019 version, and it is a it's Jack Daniel's Heritage. Okay. And I think that was 100 proof. Okay. That was the first one that they did, I think, of this like Heritage series or twice barreled series. Don't quote me on that. But I think this is like a follow up a couple of years later, yeah. the Heritage rye. I think that's kind of going back to where yeah. it started with these. Now, with the wording twice barrel, I'm going to have to assume it's a double oaked type of a situation that, that we have great here? question yeah I would, I, would have to, I would have to assume yeah. so i i did see the i don't know if this actually had a press release or not so I, I didn't read up on it i know a little bit about it but i didn't read on it surprise surprise this is like a butterscotch like a mint butterscotch kind of thing yeah and i'm on. getting a butterscotchy and maple maple syrup yeah uh definitely some mintiness coming off on the nose here Got a real mellow, toasty yeah. barrel note there. Yeah, I can 100% agree with that. Real mellow. Wow. Really, really beautiful. I'm really hoping that it transfers well, to the path. Only one way to find out. But we'll, <laughs> we'll see how that goes. Mm -hmm. It does transfer to the palate. Yeah, I mean, quite I, a bit. To me, first sip. Everything I was experiencing on the nose came through on the palate. I get that real mellow, toasty barrel note. Yeah. I get a little bit of that maple syrup note. I get a tiny bit of mintiness, just a little bit. Just a little bit of that mintiness, not a lot, that's for sure. 
those are what stands out on the very first sip for me. Yeah, at first I was like, oh, this is kind of like a mint jelly kind of thing. I never mm -hmm. had a mint jelly. I hear about <laughs> it on like lamb and stuff, but I've never had it. Right. It kind of reminded me of that because I didn't get as much maple that I did on the nose to the mm -hmm. palate. Mm -hmm. But I sipped it again and it's kind of mm -hmm. it's kind of grown on me a little bit. Mm -hmm. It's weird too because with the the 2022 single barrel barrel proof rye, the, the previous barrel proof rye, that's like a shelf stable sort of offering. I am I almost expected this before I sipped it to kind of blow my face off with the proof because those are like 120 130. Right. But this is just so flavorful for the yeah. for what it for the yeah. proof. It, and I shouldn't say 100 proof. No, you shouldn't. You shouldn't. No, I, shouldn't. I think it's I think it's perfect. And you know me. I, I love that you know, I love certain whiskeys that have a little bit of a lower proof to it. Yeah. Now I'm not talking about 80 proof, but I'm, you know, in this especially this 100 proof range. I think it's a perfect sipper. I really, really do. You know, a lot of times you get rye whiskeys too that are that are sharp and and, yeah. and kind of yeah. tingle your tongue, and you get that heavy rye spice, you know, and it's a little bit shocking to the palate. Uh, you, I, to me, I don't get that at all with this. No, it's pour. it's just really, I really don't. It's really smooth. I don't. You say like I don't get people don't like that. I don't. I, I don't. I don't hear that people say, "Oh, you can't can't be mm -hmm. smooth." I, this is like smooth. It's really viscous. Extremely. It's just like. If yeah. you were if you were driving on a freshly paved road, this is your vehicle right here. <laughs> That's true. Just beautiful poetry there by me, but it's so smooth. I only say the smooth thing because I know it's like a it's not a preferred adjective in the professional circles. But as you folks know, neither one of us are professionals. We hang out in the basement, we taste whiskey, and we talk about it with you people, with all you folks out there, our, our community and our family. So that's it. We can say smooth if we want to. Heck yeah. It is smooth, though, that's for sure. I have never gotten this much maple on an actual rye before on the nose. Because it's mm -hmm. like... It's, 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 yes. It almost reminds me, honestly, of like a Woodford Double Oak on the Woodford Double Oak rye. Yeah. Give it a shot. Woodford, <laughs> yeah. Same, I mean, that's Brown Foreman. Yeah, so, it's, you're right, though. This is reminiscent, minus right. minus right. the tiny mintiness that you get off yeah. that nose. You might it, it's very close to the Woodford. Imagine you just had a really nice like a Belgian waffle, and then to like cleanse your palate, yeah. you had a mint from Olive mm -hmm. Garden or some one of those yeah. Andes mints. Yeah. If if Olive Garden served Belgian waffles. Mm -hmm. To me, Trent, I'm gonna I'll sum up my thoughts with this. The one that I love, the Jack Daniels that I loved. The 2019, 20, 20, 20 yeah. 2020 is is big, strong, robust, like me, spicy. You know, it's 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 it, it reaches out and grabs you in a million different ways. It right? does. Yep. This is not that bottle. No. This this is almost polar opposite because it's it's creamy, like Trent said. You got some wonderful flavors in there. It's very well balanced. Not spicy at all. No. But for the price point, I think it's well worth the eighty dollars. I oh, really yeah. do, and I'm glad it's not one hundred and fifty or two hundred because I would have to say I don't think this one is worth that. You give me that two thousand twenty, I would say I would pay one hundred and fifty dollars for that bottle. But this one here at seventy at the eighty dollar mark or whatever it is, is a, is a real legitimate, uh, enjoyable drinking experience. One thing that I, I really like about Brown Foreman is that they haven't, they're not like taking advantage of that secondary price like Campari is with the, with the Wild Turkey Masters Keep Voyage, yeah. 300 bucks. I mean, I, I think birthday bourbon this year is 120 and I think that's what it has been for several years. So that's, mm. they're not like going from 120 to 240 and this, this did, I think last year it was like 70 bucks. So a $10 price increase. Yeah. I'm not mad about that. I would be mad about it if it doubled, like one fifty. Absolutely sure. not. This is not sure. one hundred fifty dollars. I, I would bottle. honestly have to say I don't think it's worth that. But no. at that price point, it's well worth it. Very enjoyable. And it's very a, very nice. It's a shame that this stuff isn't shelf stable. Like they yeah. don't come out with enough of it. But keep an eye out. I don't know when we're gonna do this. Today we were supposed to do a video with a little CO two cartridge, and I ended up getting this, so I I kicked that to the, to the curb. <laughs> we'll do that. We'll, we'll do that when we want to have. Well, some I can't fun. wait for that. I don't know. I have no idea what that's all about. But I'm gonna be interested to kind of see where this yeah. this lands because this is like thirty bucks. It is yeah. gonna be a shelf stable thing. Yeah. Why don't we do that on Wednesday? Yeah. Same we'll, we'll group that with a few other brand new whiskeys we haven't tried, and uh, we'll. Uh, 
we'll do that video for Wednesday. Yeah, I'll give some spoilers out right now. We All were right. uh, we got this Penelope nine year. Uh, it's a bourbon that we're yeah. gonna do uh, give a little review, and we got two others. So we're gonna do four reviews of some some fresh stuff. Yes, stuff we've never tasted. But I will say before we close, I got a couple emails from people that were saying, okay, I have the the opportunity to buy Vo Masters Keep Voyage for three hundred bucks, which mm -hmm. is MSRP. Mm -hmm. Should I do it? And I was like, you know, that's that's completely up to you. Uh, your palate is yep. completely. I'm, I'm assuming yep. your palate's different than mine. That kind of thing. With this, if you see this for anywhere, I would say. Max, I would probably go on this now that I've tasted it, would probably be like 120. Because I'm a big rye fan. I don't know about you. 100, 120 would be max I would pay for this. I wouldn't go any higher than that. Mm -hmm. So if you see it within that kind of price range, I think this is a really good rye for a non rye drinker. Yeah, well, I could admit, I, I could agree with that because yeah. it's not spicy on the palate. Remember, I told you some certain ryes are very shocking on the palate. And, a lot of folks that don't like rye are not going to go for that. This this is very approachable for rye whiskey. You drink it, and then, then at the tail end, it's kind of like, hey, I'm a rye, by the way. <laughs> and it, it's That's really true. good. So if you That's see it true. in that price range, I would highly recommend it, even if you're not a big rye fan, because I think there's a lot to this that will, yeah. would appeal to people that are diehard whiskey or bourbon yeah. drinkers. So. Hey, at the end of the day, it's another winner from Jack Daniels. They just keep, keep it roll, up. They keep rolling them out. Great job. I'm interested to see what they do yeah. next year. Yeah, great job to Jack Daniels. All right, that's all we got for you today. Hope you have a great week. As always, we ask you to please drink responsibly. We'll see you next time right down here with Trent and I in a good old basement bourbon bar. See you later.